Hi everyone, <coughs> welcome at gns3vault.com. I'm going to show you how to solve the OSPF totally stub lab. So let's have a look what we have here. Um, first of all, I do recommend that you try the OSPF stub lab first because this lab is kind of the same, it's the same topology, and it's good to know about the stub lab before you try the totally stub lab. Anyway, let's take a look at the goals and see how we configure this. First of all, uh, let's start configuring OSPF on both routers. So here's our topology picture. There we go, that should be our OSPF config. Take some time before the neighbor adjacency comes up. Um, so we'll try and see if we have full connectivity. Let's take a look if our relationship is coming up with the neighbors. Takes a little while. There we go. And we can see that it's, it looks good. I can ping the um, loopback of, on the other side um, with a source of my own loopback. So that means that both routers know about each other's loopback interface. So the next step, I'm going to create some extra loopback interfaces. On a router Elgrim. And there we go. So I got four additional loopbacks. I'm going to advertise them in OSPF. And there we go. Uh, let's take a look at the router Barik. See if we actually see those uh, networks. Here we go, those are the four loopback interfaces. Um, make sure you can ping them, okay, well, it should work, but just in case, here we go. Now what are we going to do? Um, change the area type of area 1. So we don't see the four networks anymore, but just a single default route. So what we are going to do is to create a OSPF totally stub area. So area 1 will become the totally stub area. And this is how we do it. There we go. Let's take a look at the routing table. Here we go. There is only a single default route now. And of course, let's see if we can still ping those networks. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. And that's uh, all there is to it. 
So this is a perfect example of having a totally stub area. Thank you for watching and till next time.